Hi, I'm Aki, a Japanese who has recently traveled across Europe riding a bamboo bike. In this video, I'd like to share 18 out of 34 things that surprised me when I visited Italy for the first time. You might also learn more about Japan, as I will compare those two countries. So please watch this video until the end. On July 7, 2023, I entered Italy for the first time in my life. And the first thing that surprised me was, first, the sound of cicadas. What makes that even a surprise to me? Because I've traveled across Europe and I barely heard their sound. But I heard this as soon as I got to Italy. <laughs> to be honest, I was really pleased. I felt at home because they sound just like the Japanese ones. Perhaps Italy and Japan have a lot of common. When I got excited about this trip, I realized one thing. Second, trash on the street. Honestly, there is not so much trash on the street in Japan. So I was kind of surprised when I saw a lot of trash on the road in Italy. But actually, I don't think it's totally a bad thing. Because it depends on the place and time. Yeah, for example, in Japan, it's usually clean, but it's pretty dirty after hanami parties somewhere like this. In any case, there's no doubt that less littering makes our lives better. Let's work together to keep the earth clean. Third, an outdoor museum. As I rode my bike, I found an art fully drawn on the wall. It looks like this art wall will never end. Almost made me think it was a museum outside. This is so cool! I thought the level of creativity in Italian art was very high. After arriving in Milan, I hopped on the train and went sightseeing, and I saw some things happen. Fourth, you can bring your bikes on the train? I saw some people get their bikes ready to ride the train. What? Could that really happen here? If that's the case, that would be great for someone like me. Because in Japan, we have to keep the bicycle inside the exclusive bag to be carried on the train. So I love the trains in Italy. Fifth, spectacular view. So I'm in Milan and I'm going down the famous covered passageway that has shops all around it. What? is this i've never seen such a huge one i only see the world of famous brands and a lot of stylish people getting together this is nothing like the japanese one i felt myself being such a country bumpkin who came to the big city for the first time that was totally something unimaginable yep sixth warm-hearted italians before coming to milan i stayed at an airbnb in como and I've left one of my favorite t-shirts there. When I told the owner about it, he came all the way from Como to Milan to hand it to me. I can't believe it. There's like 50 kilometers distance between these cities. No worries, I just happened to stop nearby for my work, he said. What a wonderful person. Thanks a lot. He really represented how warm-hearted Italians are. Seventh, having Italian pasta for the first time ever. I had pasta from Italy for the first time ever today. The pasta came from a first food place. And this is what happened after I ate it. Oh my gosh. It tastes like really good cheese. Wait a minute. If it tastes good at the first food place, what will happen if I eat it at a real restaurant? I was looking outside thinking about such things. Then I realized something else. Eighth, people wearing suits in the heat. Even though it was July, Italy was very hot. That's why I mostly wore short sleeves. But I saw lots of people in suits. Take a look. There it is. I thought businessmen in Japan were the only ones who wore long sleeves in the summer. But it was the same in Italy. Oh, I see I was right when I said that two countries share things, right? And I guess that Italians who wear suits look much nicer than Japanese people who do the same. Ninth, having Italian coffee for the first time ever. Usually I prefer matcha tea more than coffee. But of course, I'm keen on trying the real Italian coffee here. Actually, the owner of the Airbnb made one for me, so I tried it. And this is how I was. Whoa, strong. <laughs> it was super bitter. Okay, 
Okay, okay, this is Italian coffee. Tenth, my view of Italians. Today I held a casual tea ceremony at the park in Milan. Some of my followers joined and I found everyone there so outgoing. They all accepted me saying welcome to Italy so I could get along with them immediately. Yeah, we went to a local restaurant after that. Eleventh, eating pizza margarita for the first time ever. At that restaurant, I experienced the real Italian pizza margarita for the first time in my life. And this shows how I felt. It's good? Aww. Yeah! Mmm. <laughs> the food in Italy is really tasty. I truly like both Japanese and Italian food. Thanks a lot, everyone. 12. Kaiten Sushi Evolution. When we walked around the mall, we came across a sushi restaurant. What is this? At the bar, sushi is moving on its own. How? By use of magnets? Sushi restaurants in Italy are amazing. It seems to be evolving, even more than the Japanese ones. 13th, Venezia equals maize. I headed to Venezia the next day by catching a train. I put on a kimono and I'm now ready to go. Venezia was a lot like a maze. I didn't know where to go, so I just followed my intuition. And that's how I got lost. <laughs> where am I? It was scary, but it was also fun. I think the thrill of getting lost in a maze is part of a good trip in Venezia. 14th, Samurai meets Tough Guy. When I walked around, I found a gondola terminal, so I tried it out. And I met a gondolier who propelled the gondola. Reminds me of a mafia character that I know from films. Yeah, he looked like such a tough guy, so I got a bit scared of him. But in fact, he was a very sweet man. Thanks for making my trip so much fun! 15th, Attack of the Italian Bugs. Today, when I was biking towards Reggio Emilia, I got attacked by tons of bugs. They kept getting inside of my eyes and nose restlessly. Look at my t-shirts! Whoa! What? What? What is this? I'm sorry for getting in your way. 16th, incredible car parking skills. After arriving at Reggio Emilia, one of my followers took me to the local festival in his car. It was full of surprises since the festivals in Italy are so different from the Japanese ones. But something else surprised me even more. When he parked the car on the side, what? is this why do they park so close to each other there's only like a centimeter in between it's rarely seen in japan like this i admit italians have amazing driving skills really i was just amazed 17 heat 40 degrees celsius i thought italy might be a little warmer than the rest of europe but i had no idea it would be this hot it was 40 degrees Celsius that day when I checked the weather. Japan also gets it, but it doesn't get to 40 degrees Celsius very often. So that's why for Japanese person, it was really hot. I felt like I was torturing myself by riding my bicycle. I could never drink enough water to stay healthy. Water. Water. 18th, Japanese summer versus Italian summer. As I mentioned earlier, 40 degrees Celsius is pretty hot for Japanese people. But even so, life in Italy during the summer was nicer than in Japan. Why? Italy is dry, even when it's hot. Japan, on the other hand, has such high humidity in the summer that it feels like you are in a sauna. As proof, my laundry dried quickly here. Yeah! Okay, that's it everyone. Today I introduced part 1 of 34 things that surprised me in Italy. Did you enjoy watching it? Actually, I still got a lot. So, please look forward to part 2 coming up soon. And stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!